The people in Jesus' day were always looking for a sign from Jesus, especially the religious leaders. And Jesus rebuked them because they didn't just believe him. They didn't accept what he had done and what he had said. When it comes to prayer and when you come to God in prayer, believe that he hears you and trust that he's going to answer you according to his infinite wisdom and in his timing. I know that that's really hard. Uh, we want God to answer our prayers in a specific way and on our deadline, but it just doesn't work like that. I will give you, and I, I think that this is the, a helpful place to go, one encouragement from Matthew 7, verses 8 through 11. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks it will be opened. Or which of you, if his son asks him for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you then who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? And when you approach God in prayer, don't think of him as a stingy or evil father waiting to shut the door on you or give you something that's going to hurt you in the end. He's the opposite. He's good and kind, and he knows what we need better than we do. Mike, I know uh, you like country music. It's your favorite kind of music, right? You said before. You being sarcastic? Yeah, I am. I know, I know you don't like it. But Garth Brooks had a song that came out in the early 90s. Uh, you know which one it was? Probably not uh, if you're I'm not a big sorry. country fan. Yeah. Unanswered Prayers by huh. Garth Brooks. I remember hearing it over and over again in the car growing up with my mom. She loved the country station. Some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers. I can see why I'm not a uh, wow. country singer. But <laughs> I actually think Garth was doing some okay theology there. Um, when the Lord answers in a way different from what we're hoping for, it's not because he hates us. It's because he knows better than we do. We don't know everything that the sovereign Lord knows, and he won't withhold anything from you that you need for your ultimate good. Trust him that he's a good father and that he's going to give you what's best for you. you.